we'll go over electronic claims. But before we produce an electronic claim, we have to make sure that the program is set up properly for electronic claims and that the information for each patient is in there properly. So let's go into a patient record first before we do anything else. So we'll click on patient, we'll filter, find the patient we're looking for, select that patient. So the first thing we're going to need is to make sure that we have a history for the day in question. A, a patient who comes in for an examination comes in for a reason. That needs to be in the history tab. So on October 11th, this patient was in for something. Now we don't really have anything in here. Let's type something in. Okay, so we'll save that. The next thing is there must be something in the diagnosis management tab also. You have to have a diagnosis. So actually for this particular day, we do have a diagnosis for October 11th. So we can just leave that the way it is. We will need information in the financial tab to make sure that they're being billed for something. And as you can see, for October 11th, we do have information in the financial tab. And then lastly, make sure that their insurance form, uh, CMS 1500 form, is filled out properly. As you can see, we've already pre-filled this form. Um, you definitely need to make sure that their particular types of insurance identifiers are in here. Uh, it's always prudent to check on the drop-down boxes and make sure that they are selected properly throughout the uh, form here. As you can see, I'm just checking different ones here. Most importantly, you need a date of current. Okay, that needs to match the same date that we were talking about all along. You need to select a rendering and a referring provider. And then, of course, um, select the line items you want to send. So we only have one here, and I'm going to click the Send box. There we go. And then we select the insurance company here, and whether it's Medicare or commercial down there. And, of course, making sure the form is properly filled out at all times. And now we can proceed to electronic claims. Before we go to electronic claims, we do need to make sure that the program is set up properly. So we go into the admin section, go to setup, and uh, we need to have provider numbers set up for the insurance company. So uh, you can see we have two set up here, VBA and Access Care 2. So here uh, we'll need to set up each third-party payer that you're going to use. We're using VBA as an example here and you'll need to know the provider numbers, um, the address, physical address, your interchange qualifier ID, uh, group IDs, and group qualifiers, interchange receiver ID, and payer ID numbers. Those are the things that are required in order to set up a third-party payer. Most of that information you will get from your clearinghouse. Okay, so we are set up and ready to produce an electronic claim. So we click on eClaims. So you can see that we have um, one patient here that hasn't been eClaimed. Once you start using the program a lot, this list will get bigger and bigger, and you'll need to use the filter uh, to filter the patients by name or ID number or by insurance company. Uh, but for our purposes, we only have one patient here, and you can see that this patient has not been e-claimed yet. So we're going to click the selection checkbox there, and then we're going to click e-claim selected to get the e-claim file. And what will happen here is, if you notice, we have a little text up here that we didn't have before, and it says number of claimed records equals 1 and number of unclaimed records equals 0. And what that means is that the uh, claim file for this patient has gone through successfully and there were no errors on it. And then at that point, what you'll do is simply download the claim file, which is right here. So you just click this download file button 
and right down here in the lower left is the actual claim file that you will send to the clearinghouse.